Okay, dear students, uh, let's see what is there in this question. The angle theta between the ramp and the horizontal surface slowly increases from zero. An object on the ramp does not slide as theta increases. So it does not slide as theta increases and theta have, is having a variable value. So um, there was a topic that we have done uh, in the topic of friction. And uh, the name of the topic is angle of repose. So all the students, those who have joined my private classes, they might have done this. They might know what is angle of repose. This is not given in the books for IB, I believe. And um, if you people have joined the YouTube channel, you can refer to this topic um, in the online course that I have provided there. But otherwise, uh, there is a chance that you do not know what angle of repose is. Let me explain you what it is. So what is happening here is um, this uh, ramp, when it is increasing its value, so there will be some theta max at which the object will start sliding. So that is called the limiting case. That will be known as limiting case. Limiting case, case means that it is the limit uh, of the theta. So beyond that, the object will not be static and object will start sliding. So the object will start sliding. So that will be the limiting case. So uh, now what we do, we are going to understand this first of all. So this is the weight. So two components will be created here. This theta will always be equal to this theta. So this will be mg cos theta. This will be mg sin theta. So now the normal reaction will be equal to mg cos theta and friction is in the backward direction. Now be careful. We know a formula which is Fs max and that is given by mu normal reaction. So mu s, the normal reaction n is equal to mg cos theta. So Fs max is equal to this. So we can very well say that the frictional force of an object is, um, so the frictional force will not be constant, it will not be negligible. Whether it will be proportional to sine theta or cos theta. Okay. So my dear students, try to understand this. We can clearly see that the friction is directly proportional to cos theta. So there is a chance that you will, you will definitely go for the topic, you know, to the point C. But the C is not right answer. Let me tell you why. Because this theta is not theta max. This theta is not theta max. So <clears throat> what is happening? Static friction is a friction which is applied on a body, which applies on a body until the body starts moving. So this is the case, exact case for the static friction. And there is another friction which is known as limiting friction. Limiting friction is the maximum possible value of friction between the two surfaces. That is given by this. So this is the maximum possible value of friction. It is not the actual friction which is acting on the body. It's a very deep concept, very deep concept because that is not given in the books also. And I tell you, your books are teaching you only static friction and the dynamic or the kinetic friction, but they are not even talking about the limiting friction. So there is a confusion between the concept of static friction and limiting friction to IB people, to IB students, to IB teachers might be. So that is why be very careful here. I'm going to tell you this concept. So until the body is moving, the friction is Fs. It is lesser than Fs max. Fs max is given by mu s into n. So what about the magnitude of this? There is no formula for that. Like this formula, let us say this formula is giving you the value 5 Newton. It means that maximum possible value of friction is 5. But what is the friction between body and the surface now? It could have any value. 1 Newton, 2 Newton, 3 Newton. It could have any value. But it will be lesser than 5. But what value will it be? We don't know. So we have to create a formula for that. I have given all these things in my theory lectures, in my online course, by the way. But in this question we have to see so this friction is found to be equal to the applied force which tries to move the body now in this case 
mg sin theta is the force which is trying to move the body what does it mean it means that the friction which is instantaneous friction which is acting now we don't even have a clue about it that friction is actually equal to the force which is trying to disturb the equilibrium which is mg sin theta so this friction is directly proportional to sin theta hence the answer will be d and i'm damn sure that 99% of the students will be wrong when this question was asked to them in the question paper it's a very beautiful very tricky question no doubt about that so the answer for the friction will be mg sin theta provided they are not teaching you angle of repose in their books or in their classes they're not telling you about the limiting friction they do not tell you that what is the static friction and how to find the magnitude of a static friction so this question is a million dollar question no doubt about that okay dear students so this is how we do this question so the answer will be d let us see in the mark scheme if the answer is d um yes it was question number five and yes the answer is d so this is how we do this question please share the video with all your friends and um, try to join the youtube channel if that is available in your country that is very very important for you to score well okay dear students all the best bye see you in the next video